You know, uh, one of the things I know that is most disturbing to people uh, in, in the movie is the, the, uh, the soldiers themselves, the American soldiers and their attitudes. Whether you thought that this was, uh, in, let's say, characteristic of our soldiers there, and, and also who, where the responsibility lies for, 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 for these soldiers. Well, well, the problem is that the language and the way the soldiers are truly reacting are in their blogs and in the, in the, in, in the videos they make and in the documentaries you see that are made from those videos. When you see these guys on television, they're nothing but, you know, giving talking points from whatever they're supposed to say in order uh, that the one specific image of how the war is going is, is supposed to be projected. Also, the characters are very much like the characters and casualties of war, but they were in a similar situation. You're, you're on a mission that basically makes no sense. You're in a country you don't understand. You can't tell the good guys from the bad guys. You're, and it's like one of the characters says, you know, those, those, all those kids out there, you know, you don't know, you know, if one of them is going to be, you know, planning a bomb that you're going to step on, you can't trust anybody. And uh, the living conditions are horrendous. And this is just gr gritty, you know, uh, environment to live in. Uh, you don't understand the language, you don't understand the people. The only thing, that, the only logic you have is your buddy. You've got to look out for your buddy. And what always happens, like in this movie and in Casualties of War, your buddy gets blown up. And then all your anger goes out to those, those, all those people out there that you don't know who's an insurgent and who isn't, and all this frustration and anger erupts. I tried to make something extremely clear in this movie is, this would never have happened if there wasn't a wild card. These, these soldiers don't do something unless there's somebody that strikes the match. The one guy that's a little crazier than anybody else and drives them into doing this horrendous act. These are the particular bad apples. They even call themselves bad apples. Then there's the McCoy character, which I feel is very much how I feel is, I can't stop this. I can't stop George Bush. 